Finding a phylum review is like looking for a needle in the haystack. There's hardly any video content out there about it, but there's several reasons to consider signing up for Phylon's Cloud Storage service, and after testing it, well, I'm going to explain why. In this video, we'll literally unpack a lot. I'm talking Phylon's approach to security and privacy, all its key features, and how good it is at offering collaboration tools. So stick around towards the end because I'll also unpack its speed performance and if it offers good value for the money. We've been in the cloud storage game for more than 10 years now, testing and reviewing just about every service out there. And I'll say this, Phylon's got some features that make it stand out from the crowd. And let's sink into it a little bit. Now let's talk features and how Phylon behaves when in use. So we've been exploring the interface and I've got to say, it feels really intuitive and easy to navigate. Phylon Desktop is available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. And by the way, the web app is very basic in design. You're not going to be blown away by it, but everything works well and it's easy to jump through different features and folders. On desktop, you can set up automatic backups or you've got five different sync modes to choose from. First up, there is the two-way option, which means any changes you make get reflected both in the cloud and on your local machine. Then you have local to cloud, so if you change something in your local sync folder, it gets uploaded to the cloud, but changes made in the cloud won't affect your local folder. The third sync mode, cloud to local, works the other way around. Anything you change in the cloud will show up in your local sync folder, but changes in your local folder don't affect the cloud. There's also local backup, where anything you add locally gets uploaded to the cloud, but if you delete it locally, it doesn't disappear from the cloud. And then you have cloud backup, which downloads everything from your sync cloud folder to your local sync folder. Here again, no changes are mirrored. What you download stays local, even if you delete it from the cloud. Are you still with me? <laughs> Good. Now, those sync modes are super handy, but I should say this is mostly available on all other platforms as well, but Phylon has just done a little bit of a better job pointing them out and explaining their use and why you would want to choose each of these methods. Phylon has even more to offer. One feature I really like is the selective synchronization feature. It lets you sync any of your local folders with your cloud so you can arrange everything just how you want it. Now, moving on to Phylon Mobile. You can find it on both the App Store and Google Play. And one feature I love here is the automatic camera upload. With just one click, you can transfer your entire photo gallery to the cloud. And every time you snap a new picture or delete an old one, it syncs up in no time. And the best part is that they don't compress images or change the file type. So all your photos remain in their original format. And I played around with it and yeah, everything transferred smoothly and all features worked very well, including the auto updates. You can also create and edit text files directly in the cloud and their software even recognizes code. That makes it very easy to keep everything organized and share content on the go. And customization is a big win too. You can configure the app just how you want it. Show or hide a picture, set a pin code or use face ID for extra security. And with thumbnails in the cache, your images will load quickly, even with the zero knowledge encryption, which is known to slow things down a little bit. And the app supports file previews for various file types so you can quickly check what you need at a glance. And if you want to save files for offline use, just mark them for offline access and voila, they're saved locally for when you don't have internet access, which might happen occasionally. For example, when you're flying in the airplane or are somewhere else with bad internet connection. Now, moving on to collaboration. You can share files and folders with other file and users without breaking that encryption. You can use private 
and public links to share content with selected people. And you can create passwords. People are gonna have to input them when they want to access the shared files. And that's another pretty good security perk. It's nothing exceptional that other services don't offer, but I'm glad Phylon also has this. Other standard features like setting permissions to view and download files are also available. As you can see, they've got plenty of control over who sees what within your content. And if you're a coder, you'll appreciate the built-in text editor in the web app. It's not just your basic notepad, it supports even syntax highlighting. This means you can quickly edit your source code right in your browser without losing all that colorful formatting. And it's a pretty nice touch, right? Now, from our testing, we found that editing documents or other file types isn't really an option in Phylon, except for text files. But for those of you who work with code, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You can edit HTML directly in the browser, which is super convenient. If you're familiar with code editors like Visual Studio Code or Brackets, text editing in Phylon will feel pretty similar. And that said, keep in mind that the text editor is best for, I would say, minor changes in a file. So not for real heavy coding and productive use. If you're looking for real-time collaboration or integrated office tools, I think you'll be a little disappointed. I, I certainly was. There was no built-in document editor or anything like that. It, it's just not necessarily a deal breaker, but if you're used to Google Drive's collaborative features, you might find Phylon a bit lacking in this collaboration department. The file and web drive is accessible via any web browser. However, some features like preview functions are only available in the most common browsers. They recommend using Chrome, Firefox, or the new Microsoft Edge, which is based on Chromium for the best experience possible. Speaking of working efficiently, if you find constant synchronization taking up too much bandwidth, you can adjust the setting. This way you can control how much performance Phylon uses while you keep getting your work done and plus, there's a neat feature that lets you create smart key binds. With this, you can upload data and manage your synchronization all without skipping a beat in your workflow. All right, let's talk speed. For our tests, we ran everything from our servers in Dublin, which have a max speed of one gigabit per second. We cap speeds at 100 megabits per second to ensure a standard control baseline. Uploads and downloads happen twice using different file types that combine to a five gigabytes test folder. So we put Phylon through its paces and the results were, well, pretty average. It took about 12 minutes to upload a five gigabyte of data. Speeds were stable, though it put a little pressure on our computer resources. Downloads were a bit better, coming in at an average speed of around eight minutes. Again, speed remained consistent through the whole time it took to download the files. Typically, a trade-off with a highly secure cloud storage provider is slower than average speeds, but we've seen faster options out there like iStrive and pCloud, both of which offer zero-knowledge zero encryption. And if you're curious about the fast cloud storage services, check out our detailed guide. There's a link in the description box below and also a video about the fastest cloud storage services. Let's talk about security and privacy. Phylon claims that data protection is deeply rooted in their GDPR compliance. Now, most cloud storage services tout their security features, but let's see if Phylon lives up to the hype. First off, they offer zero knowledge encryption and this ensures that only you with your encryption key can decrypt and access your data, but they also use client-side encryption. Well, what does that mean? Your data is secured on your device before it is ever sent to file and servers, and your encryption key stays with you. No one else gets their hands on it. Nice, right? As Phylon puts it, even if it's just for cat pictures, all your data is encrypted with your own key on your device before it is sent to our servers. This level of private encryption is available on all its plans. So nobody, not even Phylon, can look at your data. Phylon has also implemented two-factor authentication using time-based one-time passwords. If you ever lose access to your 2FA device, you can get a recovery key so you're not completely locked out if things go wrong. 
If you're wondering where your files live once they're in the cloud, File and stores all your files in tier four ISO 27001 certified data centers distributed in Germany, you can trust they're doing everything to protect your data. Filen's privacy policy tells us they only collect a small amount of metadata about the file type, but it doesn't give away any detail about the content of your files. They also state they will never sell your files, account data or usage data. However, there are some situations where they might need to share them. This could be to enforce their policies or any agreements they might have with you. So if the government agency comes and wants your files, well, they might just get it. They may also disclose your files, account information and usage information to, as I said before, the appropriate authorities, even if those items are encrypted. Overall, I'm all in on the platform security and privacy measures. It's certainly doing and saying all the right things to me at this point. Now let's talk money. They offer a free plan with 10 gigabytes of storage with all the features the paid plans have. The only limit is the storage allowance. If you need more space, the good news is paid plans are pretty affordable. The entry level plan offers good value for light users and Honestly, the same is true on all the plans. So I will note the two terabyte plan is slightly more expensive than the likes of Sync.com, pCloud and iStrive for the same amount of space. But watch what happens when we switch to annual plans. See that? The cost per month equivalent drops and you see better value. So if you have the cash, I'd pay up front. You can always use the free plan first to see if the service is really for you. So what's the verdict on Phylon? Well, if security and privacy are on the top of your list, Phylon is definitely worth shortlisting. But the speeds are average, and if you need to work on documents with your team in real time, or if you just can't live without those integrated office tools, you might really want to look elsewhere. Maybe check out our reviews on the best cloud storage services for some solid alternatives. I'll leave the link in the description box below. So what do you think? Does Phylon's focus on privacy make up for its lack of speed? Drop your thoughts and comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. And hey, if you found this review helpful, why not hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I really, really thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye-bye.